Hello there and welcome to Black Jackal Gaming. The 40k errata has been released, so we're going to go through the Space Marine profiles and see what's been updated. So to begin with, there's some gun profiles for Firstborns that are missing. So you'll find these in the updated Armory card. So first off, we're missing a Flame profile. Uh, there's no difference between any of the general profiles you would expect to receive for these these weapons they've just been missed from this part of the armory card so they will be on the data cards for the the units that can use these these weapons but just missing from the the final uh, armory card so they've added the flamer the grav gun the melter gun and the plasma gun so on to the assault squad so the assault squad without the jump pack this is so they've added a close combat weapon um, this wasn't included previously so you wouldn't be able to make uh, any close combat attacks if you had one of the special weapons which was a bit of an oversight from uh, games workshop so they've now added in the close weapon profile to if you have a flame at melter gun or plasma gun so you will be able to punch things in the face now They've essentially done the same thing with the Assault Squad with the Jump Pack. Again, if you took one of these special weapons, they've missed it off the list. So now you will be able to have a close combat weapon with a special weapon. And it's the standard profile, really. Two attacks, weapon skill three, strength four, no AP, damage one. Pretty standard. Next up, we have the Ballast, uh, Ballastus Dreadnought. So a lot of the Dreadnoughts in the, the index, they've missed out the Dreadnought keyword. This doesn't particularly... Uh, achieve anything at the moment but it's more of a bit of future proofing so when more detachments come out there might be stratagems or detachments that are, are linked to this keyword which may have an effect so they've just added this in for a little bit of future proofing uh, next we've got the biker squad it looks like when they've listed the special weapons um, as the war gear option they haven't added the caveat in with the asterisk so this will limit how many special weapons you can take per bike squad um, so they've just added this to the unit now we've got the standard firstborn captain he now can take a plasma pistol which they didn't previously be able to um, so anything that's been added in red as you can see that's that's been added in this errata any old errata from the the first one that was out that's just in your standard black so we don't need to go over any of that um, the captain in gravis armor uh, his move characteristic was wrong, so that's been updated to 5 inches to be in line with the other Gravis options. Your captain on a bike, he was missing um, a Thunder Hammer as one of his potential melee weapons. Uh, the captain with a jump pack, he was missing the plasma pistol as the original firstborn captain was as well. Now the grab gun and grab, pi grab pistol had the wrong damage cross characteristics so this has been updated so the chaplain with a jump pack and the command squad with a jump pack the grab pistol and grab gun has been changed to two damage each. The command squad are now are allowed to take a plasma gun as one of their special weapon options. The contempted dreadnought has gained the dreadnought keyword as the, the uh, balasus. The Hellblaster squad um, was a previous errata. So the Librarian has a jump pack and he didn't have the, the Deep Strike keyword so couldn't come in here as a reserve anywhere on the tabletop uh, outside of nine inches of uh, enemy unit. That's now been added because it should be linked to the jump pack. So he can come in with any jump pack units he were, he's with or just by himself. The Firstborn Primaris Lieutenant he can now take one grav pistol. The redemptive dreadnought, as with the other dreadnoughts, has gained the dreadnought keyword. The reaver squad um, has had an update. It was obviously just a typo originally. Originally it said you could change your combat knife and replace it with one bolt combine. So you could have the bolt combine and the pistol, which is quite nice. Uh, but now you'll swap the combat knife with a bolt combine and one close combat weapon. So now you can actually make close combat attacks. There's a couple of things that this has been missed out on and um, some other armies have it as well, uh, which just a little bit of an oversight, but I've got to say most people would have played with that anyway, because 
we all know why that's there. That's just allow um, all, all models to have a standard attack when in melee. The scout squad melee weapon um, for the power weapons being changed to strength 5 to be in line with other power weapons. For the firstborn tech marine, their grav pistol as the other grav weapons has been changed to damage 2. The tech marine, um, well, <laughs> the tech, they, they should have probably come before this in the list, but he's now being given the option of taking a grab pistol and then it changes to damage 2. The Vanguard Veteran Squad um, can now take a grab pistol. They've done it in the right order here. He can now take the grab pistol. Oh no, sorry. It's just the, the separate with jump pack, without jump pack. So they could take a grab pistol anyway, but now this has been changed in line with the other ones to damage two. So as you can see, it's, even though it's an errata, it hasn't really made many differences for the Space Marines. All it's done primarily is added close combat weapons to weapons that are missing them um, and a couple of keywords that were missing and a restriction on a weapon for one squad and there's been a move characteristic mostly it's just added weapons that should have been there and changing minor typos so ultimately it's not really going to affect how your space marine army plays it's not going to really increase the damage too much that is given out and it's not going to nerf it at the same time anyway uh, the only the, well, the most interesting thing that might happen is with the, the librarian with a jump pack. Um, where's he gone to? Wherever he's gone to on this list, he now can deep strike, which gives him a, a little bit more flexibility in how you play him. But overall, Space Marines stay how they are. Bit of a middling army that can punch up a little bit if the dice rolls the right way, especially when you've got oaths a moment going off correctly. Uh, but there's a couple of factions there that are just going to really dunk on them and, and ruin your day pretty much. So enjoy playing the army. Don't focus too much on the winning, uh, especially against these tougher armies, because it's just going to be an uphill battle. Try to play uh, interesting tactics. Try and improve as a player. More importantly, have fun. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any comments, then pop them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video then please hit the like button as it greatly helps the channel. Hit the subscribe button to see any future Warhammer content. Take it easy and see you next time for more grim darkness from the 41st millennium.